Hey guys, join us for our next intake on June the 8th for our amazing 12-week cannabis and hemp course. Our course covers growing cannabis, medical cannabis, the whole supply chain of the cannabis industry, as well as sustainability and wellness, and also includes a four-week internship at a cannabis company. In 12 weeks, our students get exposed to 35 lecturers and three industry excursions, ensuring that they can build a network to help them enter the industry. Our students spend Fridays out at the beautiful jazz farm in our grow tunnel and permaculture areas, and our campus has a state-of-the-art indoor grow facility. There is nothing like this course anywhere on the planet, guys. So enroll now to join an industry of passion and purpose. Feeding uh, Lusaka, the one that Lusaka is now going to be depending on mm. for their water is starts from the coca belt. And if it's not properly looked after in the coca belt, it will mm. dry up. Peace and love to all the beautiful family. I know who it is. It's the one and only, the, the thoroughest family that ever did it, that ever gonna do it, that ever done did it, family. Yeah, shout out to all the beautiful people out there. It's the unapologetic, no mask. We were unapologetically. Nomadic. Nomadic. Peace and love everybody. Another beautiful day here in Zambia, but today we are in another location. We're in the town of Kitwe and we're at the Inkana Water and Sanitation Company. And we're here with our good friend, Mr. Ngobala. How are you today? I am fine, thank you. Uh... Excellent, thank you for inviting us here. And um, uh, we know you are an engineer and you do water projects. Yes. And um, we're at the site of one of your first projects, is that correct? Yeah, the, this is uh, yeah, one of our first projects, yes. And and I wanted to show you the this reservoir you see over here okay, that's was uh, it's a ground reservoir. Oh. Mm, yeah, and then that is a uh, uh, an elevated water tank. Wow! Basically to boost the pressure. Up, okay. You know? And then uh, I did this one actually before when you asked me because whenever we talk about water supply projects, uh -huh. people don't really understand what that means. Uh -huh. So um, when I say it's water infrastructure. Uh -huh. The infrastructure we talk about is like reservoirs, water tanks, and treatment plants. So I will show you, I will show you a treatment plant when we go to, uh, to Nkana East. Uh -huh. So when we first, when I first started uh, my projects in '97, wow, yeah, '97. This was one of the, the first uh, projects I did as a young engineer. You can see the rough design there, and the. the the, the way it is looking and then I'll show you the one I did after ah, okay so okay. normally the way the project starts is from uh, the intake you abstract the water from the river you treat it at the treatment plant then you lift the water mm. to the reservoir so this is the reservoir you lift it after it's been treated okay and then if there's some areas where the the water cannot go by gravity you boost it by raising it up into the the, the water tank so mm. that the, the, it, it gains pressure for it to go by gravity to the high level areas. Huh. So that was um, one of the early projects that I did. And then when I came back second time, I also did a, an office for them. Okay. Uh, now there's a story to this one, which is very interesting because huh. every, every time I talk about, every time I talk about uh, small contractors and encouraging uh, young, um, small businesses, one of the people that supplied the supplied the cladding for this 
mm. is actually sunshine. It's mm. now a big contractor. But when they were supplying the cladding, they were just a small mm. uh, contractor. The one who supplied the concrete here mm. that is uh, making this structure stand mm. is actually is one of the one of the Zambian contractors mm. uh, called Saloba. Wow. Yeah. So I saw them working mm. on the same project. One was propped up by his government, the other one wasn't. So the one who was propped up by his people and his government was the, they ended, ended up being uh, Sunshare. So this is uh, why I always, I'm always passionate when I talk about uh, giving uh, uh, a nursery for, 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 young, for, for small contractors because eventually they will grow as evidenced by Sanchia having just been a, a company that supplied us cladding to a company that is now doing major projects in Kitwe, in, in Lusaka, as, as, you, as, you, as you can see. So that's why I, because whenever I do projects, there are always small contractors. Mm. And I've seen the Chinese small contractors grow into, to become bigger contractors, whilst ours are ignored and left to pull themselves by their own bootstraps. So luckily, uh, Saloba has actually managed to do a well for himself, but only by himself. Mm. So I, I always wished there could be more like this. Nice. And this tank yes. uh, supplies, does it supply all of Kitwe or certain areas? No, 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 no. Okay. This one is supplying parts of Riverside. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, there's another area called uh, um, Aquacha and uh, Kulandi. Oh, wow. yeah. Nice. So nice. because those, those areas, this reservoir can feed them by gravity. Mm. But the size of the reservoir is calculated based on the people that live there. Wow, okay. So the demand for water is based on the people that live there. Uh -huh. And then now to boost the pressure, the, the elevated tank is just to boost the pressure for Got storage. Okay. Got a pressure. Always good to have good water pressure. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good water pressure. Yes. And the yes. landscaping was also done by a lady. Oh, from here. wow. Uh, okay. A local Zambian. Okay. Yes, um, it's uh, it's very nice. Uh, found near the uh, Primos there. There's oh, a small wow. flower shop there. So we, we, we came by the contract and she didn't mm. disappoint. So all this stuff was done by her. All the pop up sprinklers that are there, which, wow. which, uh, which wow. makes this area look great. Yeah. Uh, also. Great. Mm, yeah. Nice. So how long did it take to do this project? This one, um, because it was uh, it was done simultaneously. There were several mm -hmm. several little projects going around, mm -hmm. but the whole process took about four years. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Because we also had to do some some work in Kalubushi. But I can only show you a little bit of okay. what we did. But if I had to show you everything, it would take you two days. Okay. So we did some work at the Bulangiriro water treatment plant. Mm. We did some work at the uh, uh, Ganaton water treatment plant. Mm. We did some work in uh, Kawi, Kafi, um, uh, Kalurushi uh, water, water treatment plant. We did some work at Ndeke Reservoir. So we did a lot of work, pipelines all the way up to uh, to to to, um, to uh, um, uh, south of uh, Akitwe. So that is why, whenever I see people trying to um, uh, uh, do activities on the Kafue, mm -hmm. I get concerned because you are lifting the water from the same Kafue, the Kafue River, uh -huh. that is now feeding Lusaka, is the one that is wow. also feeding here. Mm -hmm. So this has to be protected. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Nice. wow. Yes. Very important. Water is very important. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so maybe I can show you the okay. the, uh, the the treatment plant, okay. which we did, and then the, another elevated water tank, which I did after this one. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So you, see, you can see the difference uh -huh. in the in the in the uh, polishing of the skill. So this I did it before I went to the UK, mm. but then when I went, came back to the from from the UK, I'll show you what I did. Nice. Okay. Nice. So nice. we go. Oh, the 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 finish here. Okay. It's locally sourced. Oh wow. And it's actual stone. Mm. Right? Yeah. Locally wow. sourced from a, a Zambian uh, uh, supplier. Mm -hmm. And all this here. This all this stuff. Yes, all this and all. All the material but, yeah, for the building. But, yeah, but the cladding, only the cladding and the, the 
the, the glass was uh, sourced from uh, science. Yeah. Okay. The concrete was done by a Zambian contractor, uh, Sarova. Okay. And uh, the stones were supplied by uh, stone sites. Oh. Yes, it's, uh, I'll show you on, my, on our way if we love them sometime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. It's real nice and clean how they did this. Yeah. Very nice. So, mm -hmm. it's only like. Uh, and uh, this, actually, the managing director, the, the, some directors are actually ladies. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. You see, one of the earliest, uh, um, uh, one of the earliest uh, shopping malls. Ah. And it was done by the government. Mm -hmm. But you can see the sophistication, huh? Uh -huh. It's much more than the the ones that we just. Uh, yeah. It's made out of concrete. It was done a long time ago. Okay. And uh, it's got some housing complex at the back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is called Lubambe Center. Uh huh. Yeah. Bambi Center was done by the, the, the government contractor. No camera. I don't change there. Coffee shop here if you want to get some coffee. <laughs> the coffee I shop. Mean, okay. So that's a coffee shop here. So about what what is the population of Kitchwe? Uh, kind of oh, estimated. I think it's slightly under one million last time we oh, checked. Oh, wow. But uh, I need to get the exact figures, really. Okay. Uh, because the census hasn't been done in a long time. Mm -hmm. So maybe we may know the exact figure um, when they do it this year, uh -huh. I hope. Okay. Because uh, you cannot, um, you cannot uh, avoid doing a census because that's how you to allocate uh, resources. Right. Uh, even for us to do water projects, we need to know how many people live here for us to now work out the size of the reservoirs and the size of the, the treatment plant. What, how much water the treatment plant should treat for it to give uh, for, for the people to get. So uh, <clears throat> we, we have uh, some figures, uh, estimated figures from the Central Statistics Office. Uh -huh. Last time I was like about, yeah, uh, slightly under one million. Wow. People. So, okay. But the other uh, cities coming up, like Sulawesi, mm. uh, is uh, Rwanda. So, uh, what is Kitwe known for? Chicken. Kitwe is known what for. What is Kitwe known for? Uh, it's known for, for copper. Okay. It's got two uh, two mines here. It's uh, KCM and there's uh, Mopani. Yeah, so that's what it's best known for. Uh -huh. But the name Kitwe well, came from um, uh, when the members were moving around here, they found that there was a head of an elephant. Uh, and then whenever they would tell people, they would say, okay, you go to that area where Ichitwe, you know, Ichitwe is like a, Ichitwe is like a head. Uh -huh. So a big head, it's like Ichitwe. So they would say, oh, yo, we have just come from uh, the area where we found a, a big head of an elephant. Oh, wow. So it's sure it would be like Chitwe. Mm -hmm. Now the white people would not pronounce Kitwe. Mm -hmm. Chitwe, sorry. So they stay, say Kitwe. And that's, but the original name is Chitwe. 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 Ah. Yes. Chitwe. Yeah. So that's why sometimes you know, it. So now we get out from Kana East where the... The oh. treatment plant um, okay. I'm trying to show you. Okay, and it's called what area? It's in Kana East. In Kana East. In Kana East. It's in Kana okay. East and Kana West. Okay. Yeah. So this is a old mine, uh, miners' housing, um, uh, where where the, the, the senior staff in the mine uh -huh. used to live. Okay, a lot of uh -huh. the miners. Okay. So now the houses are privatized. So they are privatized. To the uh, but before that is where most of the, 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 the senior staff for the mine used to be. And um, during the mining time, they had their own water tip, water supply system. Uh -huh. So when they were privatized, their water supply system was given to the city council. Uh -huh. So when we were doing the rehab for that, we had now to rehabilitate the existing 
and then added a new treatment plant to what was used this morning. Ah. Yes. Okay. So the one I'm trying, I'm going to show you is um, what is existing and the one that we added to the existing. Okay. But well, for us, when we were uh, in secondary school, we used to uh, by by uh, 13 hours. Mm -hmm. the, the classes are finished. Oh, so one o'clock! Wow. Yeah, so you have uh, what they used to go prep. You prepare for the next uh -huh. next uh, day, mm -hmm. right? And then you have another one hour, maybe one hour. Or two. Mm -hmm. But now my daughter, when she goes to school, it's like you have to stay there until sixteen hours. Ooh. I think it's a bit too much. Wow! But uh, they think it's necessary. Maybe they put it. The place to foreign teachers. Uh, union. Mm -hmm. So you see those pipes? You'll see the pipes on the other side there. Okay. This is a uh, uh, copper energy, so that's one of the pipes coming from the treatment plant. Okay. There are two uh, raw water pipes, two sections. One is for the mines, one is for the for the city guards. Okay. So this is a co energy company which distributes uh, power to the mines. Or okay. large, uh, large uh, companies. Mm -hmm. It's called the copper build energy. Okay. So basically, this they, over here. Yes, they buy power from uh, Zesco oh, and then distribute it uh, wow. to uh, to the mining companies and uh, commercial properties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. um, this is a uh, yeah one of the most profitable companies in Zambia, mm. which I actually it's still owned. Uh, it's privately owned, and some Zambians have shares in here. Okay. So what I was saying uh, to the people is that this, because the, the, the British company government has come here through the uh, what used to be called the CDC, uh -huh. and one of the things they want to buy is this one. Oh. Yeah, because uh, uh, people say, I oh, know I'm just making stuff up. No, before they made a bid before to buy this, uh -huh. it was only stopped because they could not guarantee the Zesco could not guarantee the power bulk purchase agreement. Because they want uh, to buy this company and mm -hmm. then guarantee that uh, the power they'll buy uh -huh. has to be fixed for the next 20 years. Okay. So the, the tariffs won't go up, which for me, I think if they can do that, then it's a cash cow even for our own people. They can just buy it off. Because why should we? Because if they will have a, a, a cap on the power, uh -huh. the, power uh, the tariffs will not increase for the next 25 years for them. Whereas for me, a private citizen will have to buy power uh, based on uh, the, the increment that will be given by, by Jesco in the next 25 years. So it means uh -huh. I'm subsidizing them, uh -huh. making a profit. So uh -huh. for me, it's a cash cow which should be sold, so that should be given to the Zambian pensioners so that we can guarantee money. Uh -huh. for the, I would rather, yes, I would, I would not complain if I'm charged more so that my my grandmother or my grand, my uncle, my old uncle who used to serve in the army or something, can be guaranteed a pension fund which can sustain him for for, for a long time. Than to subsidize a British pensioner. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I, I I don't think that makes more sense. So these are the houses that used to belong to the senior staff in the in the CCM days. Yes. Okay. And where we are going is where the treatment plant is. Okay. Again, this treatment plant is abstracting water from the Kafue. Okay. So the Kafue starts from uh, northwestern province. Mm -hmm. It's such a small river. Okay. And then it starts to grow larger uh, in the copper belt and mm -hmm. then eventually gets to Osaka. Uh, so uh. for me, I think, uh, it's, which is very important, they need to look after the Kafue. Uh, because the tributaries that feed into the Kafue, some of them start from marshlands like this but if you build on top of it then you kill the, the entire stream so like here we, we had a big argument with the, some of these houses right? uh -huh. over here yes they went they are too close to the to the river okay See, like this, here yes this is a small stream here which oh. is also another one feeding into the feeding okay. into the cafe uh -huh. right? so it's it's uh still there mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if they don't look after it it will eventually dry up so uh, this is the, the treatment plant okay
Okay. Huh. So the treatment plant. from the inside. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the treatment plants that uh, um, I did as a uh, resident engineer on that project. Mm -hmm. So what we have at the back here is the what was added because that uh, is the existing treatment plant. So because the, pe the population is increasing in Kitwe, we had to add another one. Mm -hmm. Another treatment plant, which is this one. So, but to have them working side by side, we had to create this, which is a splitter chamber. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So basically, that splitter chamber splits water, uh -huh. uh, going to the old treatment plant, uh -huh. and the other one coming to the new. You see those pipes into the ground; they're coming all the way into here, and they emerge from the other oh, side. Oh wow! So okay. if if this was working, you could have seen it, but now they have shut it down. So okay. we can't, uh, they can't show us everything, but I can uh, still describe what we designed. Okay. So um, we split the water, the, that large green pipe takes the water into the, 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 <clears throat> the existing, uh -huh. and then those two drop down and come and bring okay. the water into here. Okay. So there's a um, uh, mixing chamber on the, on the other side, uh -huh. which mixes the water. But you can't really see it now because it, it's, it's shut down. And what we have here, it's what they call a flocculation basin. Okay. So it basically, uh, when the, once you put uh, chemicals into the water, mm -hmm. it gets all the dirt and, for, and, and brings them together into what they call a flock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why they call this a flocculation basin. Mm -hmm. And then it goes into a sedimentation basin. Uh -huh. So that sedimentation basin gets all the, the, the flocks that were held together uh -huh. and then drop them down into sediments. Uh -huh. So they get to the bottom. Okay, mm -hmm. so that they can be taken out as a, as a so, kind of like a, if, if sand is in there, something that's in the water that should be in there, in anything the water, impure, mud, whatever the anything that's uh, okay gets uh, clogged together. Ah, okay. Yeah, so they, 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 they make what they call flocks, and then they they, they get to the top of that uh, uh, sedimentation basin, uh -huh. and then the, the, the sedimentation basin is basically deeper, so that all the flocks get to the bottom. Uh -huh. And then from the top, the water now gets into the filters. Mm. And then from the filters, whatever um, flocks may have found their way into, into the filters can be filtered out. Uh -huh. And the water gets from to the bottom of the filters wow. into the clear water tank. Uh -huh. And then from the clear water tank, they go into the high lift pump house. Oh, wow. And then the water is lifted up into a, a reservoir, which I'll show you later. Okay. So that tank you see at the back was also an addition. Okay, uh, this tank right here, tank there, yeah. steel tank. Yeah, okay. because when they are cleaning the filters, they uh -huh. have to backwash, so pump the water back, so that it it lifts the the sand. So it's like a filter. Yes, that big that silver house, thing. The, the oh, this house. Covered, yeah, that okay. one is housing the filters. This the filters are here. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And that small uh, white house, house with this cylinders, uh, white, yellow cylinders, that is where the chlorine is exposed uh, uh -huh. into. Okay. So those cylinders are attached to there, and then they now doze into the clear water tank. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So the backwash tank, sorry. No, I was going to ask, so what uh, exactly does chlorine do to the water? Ah, chlorine actually kills off the bacteria. Okay. Oh, it kills yeah. bacteria. So it kills off the bacteria, and uh, there are different uh, um, um, chemical uh, processes. Uh, there's UV lighting, but which is very basically it's, it, it looks, electrocutes the bacteria. Oh. Yeah, so it's, you shine the light into the uh, into the water and it kills all the bacteria. Mm -hmm. Chlorine basically just uh, gets rid of the E. coli, mm -hmm. but you don't have to put so much. So, so they you put you put you put enough here, but it's not drinkable. Okay. But they calcul you calculate it in such a way that by the time it gets to the um, clear water tank mm -hmm. and the retention time it uh, for 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 the clear for the clear water tank, mm -hmm. the residue chlorine by the time it gets to the tank, mm -hmm. which distributes into the uh, neighborhood, mm -hmm. it's drinkable. Okay. So uh, it also uh, kills off the bacteria as you transmit it into mm. the. Yeah. Right. Nice. Good.
This is uh, my work. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one in uh, 20, 2014, 20, 2014. Yeah. Oh, this one took less time. Yeah, this one took uh, almost like a year and uh, mm. a few months. Yes. Oh, wow. Because uh, the formwork for the for the stem uh -huh. was the same, so okay. we just uh, we, we, when we pour concrete, after it dries, we move it to the next stage. So okay. the only diff, difficult part was the formwork at the at the angle there, 45 degree, and mm -hmm. to get it right. It's a big time. So, okay. And uh, about 38. Ooh. Ooh, that's massive. Wow. Yeah, because they've shut down there. Do you think, Ayla? That's pretty big, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goodness. This is for the, the 17th Avenue. All right. So that is the existing pump house. Okay, and pump that, house. Yes, and that other the thing at the back is mm -hmm. uh, an existing clear water tank. Uh, so it's an existing water tank. Ah, okay. Okay. So water that comes from that treatment plant you saw uh -huh. is pumped into there. Okay. Yeah. But because there wasn't enough pressure to get water into other parts of the canalist, we did this elevated tank. Mm. Yeah. So part of the pumps that are in that clear water tank are in that pump house. A set of pumps lift water from that clear uh, that uh, reservoir there into that tank to give it uh, uh, enough pressure so that mm -hmm. it will flow by gravity into these uh, neighboring houses here. Oh. Yeah. And right. then pass a set of pumps, pump water into uh, what they call the indicated distribution center. Mm -hmm. It's at the far side there. Far side, back over there. Yeah. Okay. And then part of it goes all the way to Usakile. And then that's... Uh, uh, the way I did. I mean, there, there are so many little things that hmm. we did uh, mm -hmm. if uh, we didn't uh, just didn't have the time. So when we talk about uh, mm -hmm. uh, being a water infrastructure engineer, uh -huh. this is the infrastructure that I talk about. Wow. And uh, the goodness with such works is that you get to have everything. You have uh, buildings, you uh -huh. have uh, pipelines, you have pumps, uh -huh. you have pump houses. Uh -huh. So um, in terms of practicing civil engineering, you actually get to see most of these things done in one site. Mm -hmm. So you can actually, the, 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 the office block from, from Kana Water that uh, I showed you, mm -hmm. somebody gets to, 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 to practice the architectural part of it. Mm -hmm. And then you get to, to see the structural part of it. Nice. Uh, soil mechanics part of it, everything. So, wow. And even the chemical part of it, because you have to understand how so you, in essence, get to do everything. You you learn everything. You have to understand. You have to know, understand everything. Yeah, every, everything, yes. Okay. You have to understand every 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 aspect of it. Wow. Because if you're doing a treatment plant and uh -huh. you don't understand the importance of the chemicals that are going to put right. in, you design it in the wrong way. So the the, uh, mm. the flocculation basin is designed in such a way that it encourages the flocks to form. Yes. Yeah, uh, and when you're doing that 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 structure, mm -hmm. you have to appreciate that if you get it wrong, if you if you if you get the the, the 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 movement of water wrong, wow. then the flocks will not move. Uh -huh. Yeah, wow. and if you get the, the levels uh, wrong for for the for the for each each compartment, uh -huh. then it means water will not flow from one to the next. Mm. Yeah, wow, so that's it's quite very uh, quite complicated. That's why when yeah. when I see people touching the water, very, very Mozambians joke like, "Oh God, we touched your water and you are now annoyed." Because this infrastructure can only work if the source is there. Uh -huh. But if there is no source of water, then you can render all this investment uh, uh, obsolete. Yeah. And this is huge investment. Yes, yes. And water, like we said, is important everywhere. Yes. Water is an important everywhere. resource. Everywhere. Most yeah. important. 80% of our bodies is uh, That's right. Water. It's water. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. I'm sure everybody thanks you for what you do because it's a very important job and uh, yeah, you have to have clean water. Clean water and also it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chance for, 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 for engineers to practice. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. that's uh, uh, all I can nice. say on that one. All right. Excellent. I have a question about like water tanks. So the higher you build it, is the pressure stronger? Like, how does that work? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so good question. So, so that's a very good question. So, if 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 if, uh, if this is uh, your water molecule and uh, that is the ground level, it has zero pressure. So now, if I lift it up, mm -hmm. up to say ten meters, mm -hmm. right? It means it's got one bar of pressure. So. The higher it goes, the more pressure it gets. Yeah. Because then the molecule will be forced by gravity. Yeah, gravity. By, by, by gravity to come down. Wow. By the time it's coming down, it'll probably go into your tap and mm. get it. So that's, that's, the, nice. that's the, nice. the, whole, the whole point. So you, you raise it. You don't want to run the pump continuously so that people get water. Mm -hmm. So you want to, to, to pump the water into the reservoir uh -huh. and you switch off the pump mm. uh -huh. so that the... the the, the the water can flow by gravity. You save power. Uh -huh. um, you save power by 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 not running the pump all the way. Continuous. How much water is actually in there? It's about one thousand cubic meters, mm. and uh, that's like one million liters. Woo. Yeah. So it's that's big. It's, uh, that's the size of that. Wow. That's big. One mm. of, uh, uh, actually, there are three tanks. Uh, no, there are four tanks mm -hmm. in the whole of Quito. Oh, two of them were done uh, right after independence, mm -hmm. and they were done by the very old engineers. Mm. The other two tanks, mm -hmm. this one and the one I showed you, mm. and they were done by me. All right, <laughs> ah, two of the four. All right, yeah, excellent, four excellent, me, yeah. excellent. So, uh, <laughs> uh, the concrete ones, yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. So there's one in Chimwemwe, there's one at uh, Kwacha Road, DC. Uh -huh. There's one at the head office at Tinkana Water. Okay. And then there's this one. Hmm. So there are about four tanks in the whole of it. Four concrete tanks. Nice. And two of them were that by me. Nice. Yes. Wow. And all those, all those two uh -huh. uh, are still are still standing. Mm. Just like this. Yeah. This one they thought is gonna leak. So they forced <laughs> me to paint it. Mm. So, and it's so not leaking. They can, see, they can see the leaks, but as yeah, it's see, nothing. It's seven it's... Years old. And, and it looks new. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Excellent. Nice. That looks adventurous. <laughs> <laughs>